everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today I believe is our fourth week in our Bible journaling in a journal series rather than our Bible. So if you don't have a Bible or if you're not comfortable journaling in your Bible yet, then these tutorials and fun weekly videos are going to be for you guys, for anybody really. Like, I journal in my Bible a lot, but I really wanted to try something new. So if you journal in your Bible and you want to try something new, this is also a good and handy way to, to create some new art. So I will link down below in the description box the playlist as well as the first video where we actually go ahead and create our journal. Um, not this whole thing that took me months to make. I don't think I can make a video for that, honestly. But we made this together and I ta taught you how to sew it in, but there's a couple different techniques, so go check that video out if you don't want to sew it. There are plenty of ways to create this journal. So I'm going to show you a quick overview of what we've done so far. So if you're interested in checking out the whole series, don't forget to look at that playlist down in the description box. So I am super excited. Um, this is the fourth week, so this is our layout for this week. I was kind of intimidated by the two color tones because the rest of the weeks kind of went well together, but we're going to have fun. This is going to be a fun page to kind of figure out some new things to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I think today I will be using some stencils, which I have used some stencils on each page, but these are different. These I actually got at the dollar store. I'm not sure if they're still available anymore and I won't be able to find them online, but go check out your Dollar Tree near you. And these are like stick on stencils. They're really cool. I love them. So they are peelable and you do peel them off and you place them wherever you want to on your page. And they are a tad bit on the sticky side. So if you don't want it that sticky, you can always run run like it against your skin just to get it a little less sticky. Just to make sure it doesn't rip your page, which it shouldn't. It really shouldn't. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I think I'm going to put it in the center. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it in the center. Now I'm going to try, if I can, to put this right in the center. So half of it's on one page and half of it's on the other page. I think that would be really pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my, my little board that I could put behind it so that way I don't get any, I don't get any stuff on the pages behind it. Okay, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's close to where I want it to be. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it there. And if you wanted to, you could do one side. I might just do one side instead. It might be a little bit better, a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and just do one side at a time. And I'm going to lay it as close to the edge as I can. I'm just going to lay it down like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab something to put behind my page. Okay, I found my Bible journaling mat. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a normal piece of paper to put underneath. You don't have to use or buy one if you don't have one. So you can just go ahead and use a regular piece of paper. But I just happened to find this. And I was like, oh yeah, I do have one of those hey, around. So we have our stencil down. I'm gonna go ahead and choose. You can use paint. You can use Distress Ink. You can use whatever you have handy. Right now I have Distress Ink, so I think what I might do is I might do purple. I think purple would be like a fun accent color to go with both. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. I'm a little nervous to use purple, <laughs> to be honest, but we're going to try it. I tested out two different colors, the purple and kind of this like kind of orangey red. I kind of like the orangey red. Maybe not. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think the purple would stand out more on each one, so I think the purple is the way we should go. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our stencil. Now, since um, we have the stencil that's stuck down, you shouldn't have to worry about it moving on you as you go ahead and put that color on. Super excited to see how this color works. Okay, 
So once you're done, you can just peel this stencil off. And if you don't have this particular stencil, you can just use whatever stencil you have on hand or even just hand draw if you wanted to. Wow, okay, I like that. I think it turned out really cool. So I kind of want to put it on the other page. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we have this side done. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that stencil. I noticed that this side was a lot harder to do than the red side. But hopefully it turned out just as cute. Super cute. I love how that turned out. It's like a cute little border. And if you wanted to, you can go ahead and do both sides. But I think I'm just going to use this, do the center of it. Um, if you wanted to, you can just, um, you can do like a corner piece. But I have some uh, stamps I'm going to be using. For that corner so I'm going to replace this back on its little sheet and then we're going to go ahead and add some more fun stuff to our page now I wanted to do like maybe a corner pocket and I have a red envelope and a white envelope and I think the red is going to just pop a little bit better than the white so let's go ahead and cut this out I'm trying to see which way I want to cut it because I don't want a big pocket just wanted a small enough one to where I could put a little note in or something. I think that will work. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm wondering if I should put it on the white or the green side, but I think it'll look better on the red side. Yeah, okay. So I might actually make it a little bit smaller. Just so I don't cover up that beautiful stencil. And I'm just going to cut it right here. And I'm going to put my little pocket on this side and then you can go ahead and open it like that and then you can stuff in a cute little a cute little note or something that you want to put in there. I'm going to just use a little bit of distress ink to get around the corners here because there's some white showing so if you want to cover that up you can use some distress ink or if you want to use like a marker or anything just to cover up any spots that you don't want to see or just to make it look fun and extra colorful. And it might not completely cover up that entire white spot as I'm having problems, but that's okay. But I'm just going to go ahead and color, distress the whole sides of this with like the purple color. And then I'm going to go in and color just a little bit into the red. So I'm going to use my my Bible mat here. Sorry about the glare. <laughs> here, let me see if I can move you guys. Maybe not. Okay. Trying not to show the light off for you guys. So it's a little bit better for you. There. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just use a little bit of the ink to kind of color it just a little bit. And I actually kind of like the blend of the purple and the red. It kind of gives it like a brownish hue, but it still looks really nice. And I'm just going to go ahead. And I think I'm just going to do, oops, the corner over here. I just tried to put ink from the cap instead of the actual product there. There we go. That's going to turn out really cute. And this is permanent ink, so when it dries, it'll... Just stay that way and it, you won't have to worry about your hands being completely covered in ink. Mine are a little bit covered in ink, but not too bad. Okay, so once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and tape in our envelope. And always make sure if you use Distress Ink to cap it when you're done. Okay, so I'm going to grab my double-sided tape, which is lots of fun. I don't worry about distressing the back side because nobody ever sees it. I'm just going to roll... So I'm double-sided tape along, and I'm going to do the center too. That way I know it's going to stick down really well and it's not going to come off. Okay, so once you're done, and you can face it whatever way you want to. 
I have, no, I think I will place it inside like this. I'm going to place it in there like so. So when you want to, you can go ahead and open it like this and place whatever you want. So I like the way this envelope, it's like one of those little gift baggies that you roll down. It's not like a regular envelope. So I like the way that it opens up like that and you can place something in it. That is really cute. Okay, so next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and distress the edges of these two pages so that way it kind of matches the whole spread. And I'm just, as I drop my, drop my little, Distress ink tool, but I think distressing both sides, I think will kind of cohesively make the pages go better together just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna lift up the pages, that way I won't get any ink onto the back side, hopefully. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this all around all the edges. So I distressed all the sides. I think it turned out really good and it's starting to get a little bit more cohesive on both sides. And if you noticed, I switched hands a few times so that way I could reach the corners over here a little bit easier. Um, I am ambidextrous so I can sometimes switch hands when I need to. And um, let's see. I think what I'll do next is I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's any stamps that I wanna use. Um, there was some cute stamps I think would look really cute in here. Kind of a mosaic pattern. So let's use a couple of these stamps. This one came from the Lost and Found. Um, I guess it's just called Happy Stamp Set. But I think I do have a link for this one. So I will link it down below in the description box. And I love these stamps. I actually kind of wanted to try to see if maybe it would work with Distress Ink. I know you can use it with Distress Oxide Ink. But I've never tried it with just regular Distress Ink. I'm kind of tempted to try it at least once. So let's go ahead and try it. Um, hmm. I think this one, kind of like a stained glass window look, I think that would look really pretty on there. So I think that's what I'm gonna use. And these ones are actually not super sticky, so I to make sure it doesn't fall off my little ink, ink pad here, my block. And I'm gonna use the purple again, because I like the purple. And maybe I can get it a little darker. If I use it this way, and I know I can clean my stamp, so I'm not worried about my stamp at all, but let's see if this actually works. It might not, honestly. No, it looks like it might not, because I think this ink is more water-based, so it might not work. I'm going to test it on a piece of paper first, and this is a tip for you guys. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. You know, some things happen, and it's better to test it out first. So I'm going to use this little piece of paper here. And I don't think it honestly worked. But you never know unless you try, right? Oh, okay. It actually did work. It didn't look like it was working, but you know what? It did. So let's go ahead and use it. Okay, so I ended up only using one sticker on here. Um, I tried some other stickers over here and it just looked like it was too much, honestly. So I think it turned out a lot cuter. And let me see if there's anything else I wanna to add to this, but I kinda of like the simplicity of it. It's really cute. 
I moved the stamp over here. <laughs> Apparently, I am really picky with stickers or whatever it's called, stickers today. Um, I don't know why. I just, I felt like I liked the envelope the way it was with the pretty colors. So, sticker mode over there. <laughs> um, honestly, this page really doesn't need stickers. I think it turned out really cute the way it did. So, let's go ahead and, and write down what verse we want to put on here. Okay, I actually forgot to pick a verse before I started this tutorial, but I think God led me to this verse today. It, uh, it is Psalm 51, verse 10. It says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. So I'm going to use my um, Tombow Futunisuki brush pen to go ahead and do some hand lettering on this side. And I think I'll use this side for a short prayer or thank yous or something like that. Okay, so we have our page today and I think it turned out really, really cute. I honestly think adding too many stickers on it, I wouldn't have had enough room to write and just have a lot of fun with it. So I think it turned out really cute. I absolutely love this envelope. I honestly think it's my favorite envelope I've ever done. It is just so adorable, so cute. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day and a blessed rest of your week. And I will see you on Sunday for the next video.